Hey, what's up, guys? So yesterday I was just uh, doing some drugs. No, that's it. I'm not going to be joking around about drugs anymore. It's not a joke. I have a problem. You know, all these videos I joke around about doing meth with two and a half pock, you know, injecting some of that weed with Snoop Cat. But it's not a joke, guys. I've actually been smoking meth with three and a half pock. These haven't been jokes, guys. I've been calling out for help. But today is the day that I stop calling out for help and actually do something about it. It's time that I get myself out of this big fat shithole that I dug up. But what can I actually do? I'm just one simple man with the name Calvin, last name Trump. But guys, what can I do? What can I do? And don't say stop doing drugs. Don't you fucking say that. But I, I, I just don't know what I can do. How can I, Calvin, stop doing drugs? Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, dude, I think I got it. I got it, dude. We could look up an anti-drug YouTube video. Oh, my God, it's gonna work. I'm so... This is gonna work, dude. And what better anti-drugs YouTube video could I pick other than the comeback to drugs? I mean, I'm positive that you could show this to fucking Scarface and he would stop doing coke. I mean, this is some solid shit, dude. So without further ado, guys, grab your weed, grab your meth, grab your heroin, and grab your vitamin pills because we're about to quit those habits. Play that shit. <laughs> Calling it right now, that guy's actually a part of the drug cartel, sells everyone coke, everybody fucking dies, and then he blames it on his grandma. I mean, look at his shoes. Look at his fucking shoes. That guy's a born killer, dude. Hey, how are you, boys? Who the fuck are you? Grandma, come and help. This fucking dude just broke into our house and he's here to rape us and kill us and probably rape us again. Shit. I love how in all the anti-drug videos, they always give you the most insane fucking scenarios. Like, walking down the street, you see a fucking ounce of weed. Oh, what do you do with it? Give it to the cops. No, motherfucker, I'm taking that home. But, 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 they're just trying to say not to use drugs. What's wrong with the message? And you're right, dude. There's nothing wrong with the message of the anti-drug videos. But so many of these anti-drug videos are just so bad. I never understood why people try to defend people by saying stuff like, Oh, but he had a good message. Or, oh, he had good intentions. You know who else had good intentions? Fucking Hitler. It's the actions people take while trying to get to the end game of their intentions that make them a bad person. Like, for example, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be rich, but if you fucking rob a bank for it, you kill 15 people at the bank, then you get in your car, you drive away, and then you run it into a fucking gas station that blows up and kills like 50 people, then, uh, yeah, yeah, you're kind of a bad person. No, Leafy, everybody's a good person at heart, even the guy that raped like 10 kids. What you up to? Playing a bit of pool. Hey, do you wanna try something? Oh yeah, mate, I'll have a go. Oh yeah, mate, I'll have a go. I knew you were a fucking druggie from the start. Really disappointed in you, Charles. Something? Oh yeah, mate, I'll have a go. Nah, no, mate, I've got enough troubles in my life. I don't add drugs to it. No worries, I was only joking anyway. No worries, I was only joking, motherfucker. No, you weren't. Why are you bring the weed then, huh? Why are you doing that, huh? What are you, a fucking crack dealer? You just carry that shit everywhere? Can't trust keeping it at your house because the FBI is watching you? This guy's a crack dealer, I swear to God. <laughs> Hey babe, can't wait for the party tonight. I'm a bit tired, I might not go out after the party. So at the party have some pills, it'll give you a buzz, it'll make you feel better. What, well, I'm good enough for that shit. Come on baby, you'll love it. No, I'm going and I'm going to have fun without it. I don't need drugs, I'm high on life, motherfucker. Yeah, I remember when they introduced that shit at my school when I was like 15. Uh, I'm just going to tell you guys the truth, it's, it's bullshit, dude. Just kidding guys, only idiots do drugs. Fuck those guys. It's not worth it, babe. Yeah, whatever. I probably have to look after you, so don't worry about it. <clears throat> this guy is a true hero, guys. I'm not joking around at all. If you're laughing right now, fuck you, dude. This this is serious stuff. That guy stood his ground, dude. Uh, a girl went up to him and was like, yo, you wanted your drugs? Like, everybody would usually say yes, but he didn't say yes. He was all like, yo, I don't need no drugs. You Look, look at me, dude. I, I'm, I'm my, my name's Harold. I don't need no drugs. I'm high on life. I mean, look at me, dude. Look at me. You think I need drugs when I look this good? I mean, Jesus Christ, dude. Like, I'm a part of the church. Church of Jesus Christ, like I'm a Mormon, man. Fuck off, you thirsty ass bitch. Fuck. 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 Well, that's right, guys. Never experiment with drugs. Look at this guy. He he has tried. He just tried crack once, and he's fucking dead. Okay, don't don't try anything. You will end up like Mark here. You, you'll be on the floor with a fucking black jacket on, like a black jacket hoodie on top. Like you're you're, you're gonna be messed up in the head. You're gonna end up like that leafy guy making making YouTube videos, dude. 
God damn, I love the urgency of that. Mark's not breathing, he's on the floor, he's fucking passed out, his heart's not even beating. Better stand up and try to get some help, maybe. Oh, almost forgot my drink. I got my drink and oh damn, Sabrina's looking fine as fuck. I'm gonna go try to smash. Mark, yo, I'll be back in a bit, just just try not to die. I know you can't hear me right now. Y you know what, you're probably already dead. You know what, fuck off, Mark. You already didn't even give me Chipotle that one day. You didn't even buy me Chipotle, fuck, go die. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Really? Yeah, he was doing a lot of drugs yesterday. Yeah, Mark's kind of a psycho. Really, kind of, really weird, kind of creepy. Well, his fucking best friend is just like, oh shit, dude. It, like, that's the fucking reaction, man. Oh, shit. I'll go check if his mom's home. I'll put him in our copy of business ship. I'll call triple zero and get an ambulance. Lucky these guys know what they're doing. Yeah. My friend's fucking dying on the flu right now. Better eat some chips and drink some soda because we're the cool kids. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, no, 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 nobody can even touch my swag right now. If you think someone's overdosed, put them in the recovery position and call triple zero. Yeah, I'm not sure if this person is handicapped, but I'm not touching this shit. It's not worth it, dude. I say one thing. If I literally just ask, is this person handicapped? I'm going to get flamed for it. Get the comment section just spammed with the same thing. Not cool, bro. Not cool, bro. Oh my God. This whole fucking scene reminds me of how people used to explain drugs in my middle school back in the day. People would be all like, Oh yeah, you gotta be really careful with shrooms, man. They're really fun, but they can be really dangerous. I knew this one guy that, uh, he took shrooms and, um, I, I don't know how this happened, but he, he actually thought he was an orange and he started trying to peel himself. Like, what the fuck did this bitch take? Did they buy drugs from the drug cartel in the middle of Mexico? Because the guy in the beginning was like, I just got some weed. And, bro, that is not what happens to you when you smoke weed. Crazy. I had it when she locked this. She's such a psycho when she's high. Well, there you go, all the people that are considering doing drugs. That's what's going to happen to you. You do drugs, you just want to try it once, guess what's going to happen? You'll be on the couch freaking out that Slenderman's touching your butthole while your boyfriend or girlfriend is talking to some blonde chick, probably going to fuck later on, your life is in ruins, end up in a car accident later on. I mean, I don't know why, end up fucking dead on the street the next day. I mean, that's just, this is what happens to everybody that tries marijuana for the first time. This is a fact. Oh my god, stop! Oh my god, no! Don't touch me! I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> what? The fucking music stops. He just walks in out of nowhere. I'm gonna call the police. Like, was the dad in the other room the whole time fucking watching TV? And meanwhile, they're just doing heroin, crack, coke, all that shit. And she had to change her shoes. <laughs> Hey ladies, do you want to smoke some weed with me? <laughs> hey ladies, you want to smoke some weed with me? <laughs> what are you fucking doing? This fucking video, dude. Hey ladies, do you want to smoke some weed with me? No thanks, I'd rather smell like Justin Bieber. <coughs> hey, what about you, pretty lady? I didn't spend all my time doing my makeup to look this good to go home looking like crap. No man, I kissed a smoker once. It tastes like an ashtray. Sugar, right? Oh, okay. What a loser. Yeah. Very. Holy shit, guys, another scientific fact. If you offer to do drugs with anybody, you're, you're a loser, dude. They're gonna hate you. They're gonna think you're a piece of shit, dude. Oh my god. That kid just got roasted. Yeah, look, I got that done. Yeah, yeah I'll just give him a couple more days. G'day, boys. How are you? Pretty good. You good? Yeah. I get nervous talking to girls. Do you want a bit of confidence? No way. <laughs> what did he act? No way. Well, how about you? No thanks, I might need my little friend downstairs for later. No thanks, I don't want to end up like you. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't want to end up like you? And also, what in the actual fuck was that last kid talking about? No, I don't want any drugs. I'm gonna have to use my little thing downstairs for later. Whoa, whoa, whoa what? Do you want to try some awesome stuff? Want to give it a go? Nah, I don't want drugs, mate. I want a new car, mate. Okay. Saying no to drugs will save you money, time, and problems down the track. 
set a good example for your hmm okay that is an engine okay that that is also an engine okay that is the car engine um i have no idea what the fuck i'm looking at but maybe if i just stand here and act like i'm analyzing it i'll look cool for the camera friends and your family and live the life you want like Rodney here, who realizes that drugs could get in the way of his future and in the way of his dream car. As soon as the video ends. Okay, kid, that was cool. Now get the fuck out of the car. I gotta sell this shit. But, 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 I thought if I didn't do drugs, I would get a nice car and then, and then the girls would like me. Now, nah, little Jimmy, there's a ton of stuff that goes into it. And ironically, a lot of the big businessmen do drugs themselves. Aw, oh, man, I should have just done the crack while I had the chance. Shit. Oh, you want some weed, man? I don't need that stuff. I play video games to escape my reality. <laughs> I'm done, dude. I'm fucking done. Comedy of the year, dude. Comedy of the year. YouTube, are you seeing this shit? This is the comedy of the year. YouTube, give them an award. Do you ever think of your great friends, mates, parents, brothers, sisters? No. Well, I can tell you, if you get tied up in the drug trade, it's going to be bad news for them and probably you. You can make a choice. I won't walk away from my friends or my family, but I will walk away from drugs. Whoa, 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 where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? D what? Wait, wait, are you, are you calling me drugs? You call me and my, that, dude, that's really fucked up. You know what? Keep walking. Keep fucking walking. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck off, dude. You calling me and my subs drugs and shit? You're telling people to say no to us now? We're not bad people. You think you're better than us, huh? Who do you fucking think you are with your your little fucking cowboy hat with your, your little slick bag hair fucking piece of shit? Fuck you, dude. Well, guys, in conclusion, I mean, they might hate us. Uh, the world might hate us, and, you know, maybe everybody hates us, but despite how many times they'll call you a drug to your face... That they'll say that you're just a filthy drug. Just know that it doesn't matter how many people hate us. It doesn't matter the amount. Because everybody in the entire universe could hate us. But I won't. Because I love you guys. And nothing can ever change that. Well, how about you? No, thanks. I might need my little friend downstairs for later. No, thanks. I don't want to end up like. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, and if you did, dude, it's your lucky day, because for every single person that likes this video, they will be receiving, uh, uh, t two socks. Yep, every single person that clicks like on this video, they'll, they'll get two socks. Uh, not, not a scam at all, dude. Two socks. They'll be in your backyard as soon as you like the video. Uh, it, it's magic. It's hard to explain. Um, but yeah, two socks. They're also made out of diamonds. But huge thanks for all the support. You guys are just the best. I fucking love you guys. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a fucking splendid day, dude. Peace out.